Okay, guys, as you can see in our Google Slides with the use of Bitmojis, I'm going to explain to you how to get and use Loom. You can see here, this is the icon of the Loom. Actually, we have four steps how to get it. Step one, go to Google website. Step two, under the Google website, type Chrome Web Store. Step three, when you are in the Chrome Web Store, search Loom, L-O-O-M. And then number four, once you find or once you found the Loom, you click the Add to Chrome and then you're good. So once you click the Add to Chrome, you will see this kind of like a petal or flower thing. It is or it will be in the upper part of your screen. I'm going to show that to you later on. So why Loom? It offers an easy to use platform, free teacher accounts if you sign up with your teacher email. Wait for them to send you an email before you set up or before setting up the desktop program. So if you, I have here um, a link on how to go to the Chrome Web Store, as I have said earlier, for you to get the Loom in Chrome extension. To record a Loom video, after adding the browser extension and creating an account, click the Loom icon on any tab. It looks like a pink flower, this is. You will have three choices. First, record you and the screen. Second, record a screen of your laptop, of course, or your computer. And the third one, just record you, means just record your cam. And then click the red triangle to stop if you want to stop the video. Click the vertical lines if you want to post the video for a while. And click the red X to cancel record. And click the three dots to hide your account icon. When done, click. Or when done, click the green. Check. It will record your video. And then once you're done in your video and you are now ready to send it, we have here some guides. So after recording the video, a link is automatically created. Copy the link and add it anywhere you would. Like the automatic title of your video is the name of the tab or document you are using. If you can see here in, on the left side, you will see this as a sample send your video. This is the link and you will just click the copy link and just copy paste it or paste it to YouTube or to Facebook or to Google Classroom. And you have here too, if you want to invite people or add password too. In this um, Loom, you will be able to add it to or tame your video. So now I'm going to share to you where is that icon here. Since I am using the Loom for Chrome now, this pink flower turned into kind of black or gray thing, and you can see the dots here. So when you see like this, means it is recording right now. So let us see. When we're done, this is the X for cancel, the vertical line for pause, and this one when I'm done in my video. So, and then hide the menu or hide menu. So I'll try to click this. I will try to click this. And then the menu is height and then this one and then camera settings too if you want to show yourself but i'm not doing it now but i can show it to you later on i'm gonna add how to explore the icon so now guys we're gonna explore the loom chrome extension as you can see here this is the icon loom for chrome has access to this site so if you're gonna record a screen or what you're doing your screen while you are teaching or if you want to give instruction to your students you will just click this icon and once you click this it will appear record and notifications. So we'll focus here in record. So in record, these are the three options. A screen and cam, a screen, the screen of your computer or your laptop and your cam, you yourself, and then a screen only without cam, and then cam only without a screen. Of course, I'm using the full, or if you're using the full desktop or your laptop, and we will click the audio. So your audio will be uh, rec recorded. And then before you're gonna click start recording, we have here another feature, change photo. So if you don't wanna see yourself like your actual you, or uh, you want to use another picture, of course you, you can download your picture in the Gmail that you use in signing up for the Loom Chrome extension. And this is what is appeared here. Now, you can click this circle. This circle is just the size of yourself. We have here X, cancel recording. We have here the vertical line to resume. And then here is start recording. So you have option here, you start recording here and you start recording here. It's up to you which one you want to use. Now, if you don't want to see this menu, you will click this. And if you don't want to see your picture there, it's just your voice, you click this too. And then you will now start recording or click this one. So it will record your screen only. And then once you're done, you can go back here in this icon and you will see that your video or the record of your screen is saved there. You will have an icon there, like uh, if you want to press something, so it will end the recording so i like this loom it has no limitations so it's unlike a screencastify this one is a screencastify it is limited only for five minutes so i use most of the time the loom thank you guys for watching and listening see you again happy sharing and happy learning